This is a very decisive moment for Berlusconi. Of course, we have to remember the background, which is that within weeks he is about to start serving a one-year sentence for tax fraud. He is a convicted criminal. As of August the 1st, he will have to go into house detention or perform community service. He's also likely to be banned from public office for one to three years and to be expelled from the Senate. So many were already talking about the end of the Berlusconi era. It's just that Mr. Berlusconi himself refuses to accept it. And then a last defiant gesture was seriously intending to try and bring the government down with him. But he has clearly failed. The splits in his party that emerged yesterday are, are so large. The question now is really how big will the rift be in Berlusconi's party and, and how serious a blow to his authority. Enrico Letta made a very strong speech to Parliament and his opening words were that Italy faced a fatal risk if, if this government collapsed. And he went on to elaborate that Italy has suffered its worst recession since the war. Yet there are signs that the economy is beginning to recover, or in the sense that this recession is finally bottoming out. Letta made it very clear to Parliament that, that this possibility of an economic recovery would be put at risk completely if this government were to collapse and Italy were to head to elections in what is actually a very crucial period. This is really the wrong time to have elections. The government has to pass and present its budget for next year. And it also has to re uh, reform the electoral law, which the Constitutional Court in December is expected to rule as being unconstitutional, which would cause a, an enormous political crisis. The markets at first were very nervous about Berlusconi's moves. But as it became clearer on, on Monday and Tuesday that, that Berlusconi's efforts to bring down the government were, were doomed to fail, then the markets have staged a remarkable turnaround. So for the moment, the assumption on the markets is that Berlusconi's ability to sow chaos on the Italian scene has been severely diminished by his efforts to bring it down.